So uh, we've just announced a free trial offer with Solid Edge. Right. What is that? What are some of the details you can share? Well, we really want to you know, allow everybody to try Solid Edge. There's a lot of people who experience and they say, I just have to experience it. And once I've experienced it, I really like it a lot better than anything else I, I've used. And um, what we want to do is make that so easy for people. So you just go to the website. You can download Solid Edge directly from there. Uh, you'll get an email with a license file that you can put in place and immediately run the software and start to try out Solid Edge and, okay. and see the breadth of it. OK. Um, so a lot of people will probably then be trying Solid Edge for the first time. Do you yep. have some recommendations on how do they get started? And Sure. I mean, we have lots of, of online content to work with, um, videos, uh, tips and tricks, and of course tutorials. We have over 60 tutorials that are in Solid Edge, uh, some built in directly and some on the web. And a lot of users actually, probably the vast majority of users actually don't take any training on Solid Edge. They just learn it from the tutorials, self-teaching kind of thing. And so we think the more people that can try it, teach themselves, the more successful it. Has it become even easier with synchronous technology? Does that help people get started in Solid Edge? It does. I mean, synchronous technology is very easy to use, um, but it is a different mindset. And so that's one of the things I you know, need to tell people is to keep an open mind there, particularly users coming from a 3D system that's history based. So what we find is users who are coming from 2D, they'll say, well, this just works the way it should work. I expect it to work this way. Users coming from a history based system have some preconceived notions about how it's supposed to work. So it usually takes them a day or two. They say, this is different. I'm not quite sure. What do I think? And you stick with it a little while and there's eventually this aha moment where they say, oh, OK, I get it now and I like this a lot better. And then you, they don't ever want to go back, basically. OK. And I've seen some over the last year. I'm sure you're much more ingrained in it. But it seems like the online community for Solid Edge um, has really gotten stronger. Do you think for these new users just testing it out, would people be accessible, answer questions? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of online resources. And one of the things I've, I've always found really great about Solid Edge is the community likes to help each other. Um, I often go in our news group and chat with users and see kind of what they're up to, what are their current issues, and that kind of thing. And what you'll invariably see in there is people are tossing in a question, I'm new and I don't know how to do this. And I mean, within seconds almost, you'll see people respond and tell them exactly how to go about doing it and how they've done it in the past. And you'll also see best practice kind of stuff in there. That's not necessarily CAD things, but you know, I'm doing this particular kind of project and how would you approach it based on your experience in industry? So there's a lot of that kind of community thing that goes on with Solid Edge. Okay, great. Thanks, Dan. You bet.